In this video, we are going to be learning about ecosystems. Ecosystems are made up of living organisms and non-living matter. In a forest ecosystem, this could include things like plants, birds, mammals, worms, and fungi, as well as non-living matter, like nutrients in the soil, water in the rivers and ponds, and the air that the organisms breathe. Let's sort these things at the top of your guided notes. In the empty spaces, we will correctly label all of the items. If they are a living organism, label them with the letter L. If they are non-living matter, label them with the letter N. Good luck! Plants, owls, fungi, worms, and mice are all living organisms. Water, air, and soil are all non-living matter, but they are still extremely important to the ecosystem. Living organisms depend on all of the other parts of the ecosystem to survive. The owl needs mice to eat, and the mouse needs food from the plants to survive. Then, when the organisms die, worms and mushrooms break them down and turn them into nutrients that go back into the soil, which then help the plants grow. Notice that matter and energy are always cycling through the environment. Every single part of the ecosystem is very important. All of the living organisms in an ecosystem fall into one of three categories. The producers the decomposers, or the consumers. Plants fall into the category called the producers. Producers don't actually eat other organisms in the ecosystem. They just produce their own food using water, carbon dioxide, nutrients from the soil, and sunlight. Fungi, worms, and bacteria fall into the category called the decomposers. When other organisms die, the decomposers break them down and then turn them into nutrients that go back into the soil, which helps the plants grow. Finally, there are the consumers. Consumers are the organisms that need to eat plants or other organisms to survive. Here are three examples of consumers. The caterpillar needs to eat plants, like this grass. Then this bird eats the caterpillar. And then this bird is consumed by an even larger predator, like this hawk. On your guided notes, find the food web diagram. Notice the empty circles next to the organisms. Correctly label the organisms with a P for producers, D for decomposers, or C for consumers. Good luck! All right, let's see how you did. The bushes and the flowers are the producers. The mushrooms and the worms are the decomposers. 
and the other creatures are the consumers. Fantastic job! With your new skills, you're now ready to move on to the challenge page. Or maybe you'd like to chat about some questions using the discussion slides. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.